Hello and welcome to Firefighting in Canada this week. It's Friday, November 20th, 2015. Today's edition is brought to you by First Alert, Canada's most trusted and reliable fire safety equipment company. I'm Tamara Teek and here are the top stories. A dispute over rent shuts down an Ontario fire truck manufacturer. Firefighters at the Bruce Power Nuclear Generating Station test cutting-edge wearable sensor technology. And chief fire officers from across Ontario met in Niagara Falls this week. And now to our top story. Employees of Eastway 911 emergency vehicles are still unable to work after being locked out of their Carleton Place building last week. The landlord is asking for $500,000 in damages and penalties for failure to pay rent for November. In a written statement to CBC News, Eastway said it is disappointed because the landlord was aware that director Michael Cappy was out of the country and unavailable to sign a check. The company said it is looking at ways to retain its employees and continue to serve customers. Eastway was acquired earlier this year by private equity firm Gibraltar Foundation. Firefighters at Bruce Power Nuclear Generating Station in Ontario ran a demonstration of Globe's wearable sensor technology last week. Assistant Editor Maria Church has more. Tamara, Editor Laura King and I drove out to Bruce Power last week to tour the recently opened Fire Training Centre and check out Globe's new sensor technology. Fire Chief Brian Cumming led us around the $25 million facility that houses indoor live fire props, the largest of which is the turbine that's one-third the size of actuals on site. Chief Cumming explained to us that prevention and training are essential for the department and that Globe's new WASP technology is a good fit. WASP stands for Wearable Advanced Sensor Platform. The tech is worn as a t-shirt under bunker gear and monitors, among other things, heart rate and breathing rate and tracks location. Look for more details on the WASP technology in the upcoming December issue of Firefighting in Canada. Ontario's fire chiefs had their annual midterm meeting this week. The packed agenda included a presentation and a question and answer session with the province's interim fire marshal. Editor Laura King reports. Tamar, chief officers were definitely keen to meet the new fire marshal and find out where things stand at the OSM. Ross Nichols, an OPP inspector, was named interim fire marshal in October. He and Deputy Minister Matt Terrigian said they know chiefs are frustrated and want a more robust OFM and, in particular, better communication with the office. Relationships and communication are critically important. I'm very pleased to be here at the OAFC midterm speaking with the leadership of our fire service. Nichols has a one-year contract with the province and a lot of work to do. But Wednesday's session seemed to leave chiefs optimistic that change will indeed happen. Firefighting in Canada's November issue includes a feature story about preparing for a post-earthquake scenario in British Columbia. The author, Dave Baird, is a captain for the Surrey Fire Service. He tells us more. We recently purchased three new tenders to provide fire services to the rural areas of our city. For an extra $25,000, each new tender was equipped with the Darley Purifier System. Now we can produce on-the-spot potable water. The logistics of doing this will be a challenge. Questions like where do we get the water from? Do we set up in a heavily populated area or do we set up near the water source and get the citizens to move to us? It's also situational depending on the amount of damage to the roadways and the infrastructure that we have to plan and think about every possible scenario so that we can be as prepared as possible. That's our show for now from Annex Business Media's Niche TV Newsroom. Thank you to our sponsor, First Alert, Canada's most trusted and reliable fire safety equipment company. You can find more news about Canadian firefighting online at firefightingincanada.com or subscribe to the magazine and have a copy delivered to you. On behalf of all of us here at Niche TV, thanks for watching.